if you do polls or quizzes in your Zoom meeting, the new update that allows you to create permanent polls will be a great help. Let me show you how. If you have logged into your Zoom account recently, you might have noticed a new feature called Polls and Quizzes. This feature allows you to create polls that can be used in all future meetings. To get started, click on the option. Here I have already created two polls. One is a normal poll and one is an advanced poll. In this video, I will not spend too much time explaining the different types of polls. I already have a separate video that explains polls, advanced polls, quizzes, etc. Link to those videos is in the description. Do check them out. Ideally, you should create permanent polls that do not change from meeting to meeting. For example, if you want an overall feedback of your meeting, you could create something like this. This is an advanced poll that allows the participants to rate your meeting, share their feedback, and so on. To create a new permanent poll, click on the Create option. You are presented with two options, create a regular poll or create an advanced poll. You can disable or enable the polls. Use the pencil icon if you want to make any corrections to your poll. And the three dots provide you additional functionality of either deleting the poll or creating a duplicate of this poll. Alright, let's assume you have created a couple of permanent polls. How do you use them in your regular Zoom meeting? Let me schedule a new meeting. Start by schedule a meeting. Give the details of your meeting. Assign a suitable password. And finally, click on the save button. If you scroll to the bottom, you will find that two polls have been already assigned to this meeting. And these are the two permanent polls that were marked as enabled. If you don't want any of the permanent polls to be part of this meeting, you can click on the three dots and click the delete option. You can also edit the permanent polls by clicking on the pencil icon, make the necessary changes, and then click on the save button. You get two options. One is to save the updated poll as a new poll, or you can choose to save and replace. If you choose the save and replace, it will update the permanent poll, which means going forward, any new meeting that you create will have the updated poll as the permanent poll. Of course, you can still create meeting specific polls by clicking on the create option and you can choose to create a poll or an advanced poll or a quiz. If you want this poll to be added into your permanent library, just click on this option, add to polls quiz library. And that's it. If you do a lot of polls in your Zoom meetings, this feature should be definitely something you should check out. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button as it encourages me to create more content like this.